Hi guys, I'm here at the Buzz Studio and I'm about to do an amazing interview that I'm super, super excited to do. So stay tuned. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I actually started in school, a lot of my friends, it was right as TikTok was starting to kind of gain popularity about a year before the pandemic. And a lot of me and my friends were bored in school, so we just started posting on the app. And then around two years later, I started taking it actually seriously and putting a lot of work into my content. I was just kind of doing it for fun at the start. It was a lot of just goofing around, kind of looking for distraction in school a little bit, but it was super, super fun. When I was in quarantine, I started posting a lot of POV type content and I was doing like five to seven videos a day for a few months. And I remember I went from around 50K followers before quarantine, which was an amazing amount. I was super excited about that to over a million in a month, which was crazy. I heard XOXO Brooklyn pays her tutor to take her tests. Like, come on, you're really that dumb? Who are we talking about? Brooklyn? I mean, I can't even remember her name half the time. She's so irrelevant. It's like Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn. I heard XO Brooklyn writes love letters to herself. That's why they call her XO Brooklyn. Yeah, I heard Brooklyn hooked up the gym teacher after school. What a bore. I heard XOXO Brooklyn had a piece of toilet paper hanging out of her shorts the other day. I've kind of always gotten a little bit of hate online. I just kind of wanted to make something that was playfully satirical and it's really just having fun poking a little bit of fun at the haters but at the same time it's a super super catchy and fun song and I really enjoy creating it it took actually over like nine months to create the whole thing with the music video and the song and recording process which was really enjoyable and fun to do because I never really knew all the stuff that went on behind the scenes and it gave me such a new appreciation for all the music that I listened to I'm buying diamonds buying gold I work for myself might be emotional but I'm better than Sweet like caramel And all the haters don't know that I got them under a spell Baby, baby, I'm no damsel I'm just too hot to handle POV, you're trying really hard to get me cancelled And I might be a handful Because I got my hands full In district and I love my fans And I love a good scandal My crown, my crown yeah. Um, for me, it was definitely harder at the start. I mean, the hate definitely got more gradual. I think as I started to gain followers, it got progressively worse and worse to the point where all of my comments were just mean at some points. And for me, it was realizing that I have a lot of people around me who love and support me and know who I truly am. And I know who I am and I'm happy with who I am. So people that haven't maybe gotten to know me in person, how are they to judge me from just 15 seconds of my life? Um, I I was able to collaborate with BB Rexa about a year ago, the first time I came to LA, and it was crazy. She was super, super sweet, and it was really cool to get to create that content and just get to meet someone like that. That was crazy. It was such a cool experience. I've been able to stay pretty stable because, once again, I just know who I am, and I know that my worth is more than just my outer appearance. And I want young people everywhere to not have to feel like this standard that they see online, which can be misconstrued, it can be edited, it might not even be real, let alone the fact that people typically only put the best side of themselves online and you don't see the other 80-90% of the time where maybe it's not like that. I mean, I released the song My Crown, which was kind of, I would say that the song and the music video was definitely created in the way more of a character and how people perceived me from part of my online presence. I mean, I first started by making point of view princess style videos, which was quite obviously me playing a character because it said like POV, these style of videos with a story behind it. But then as I moved away from that and tried to show more of myself online, not quite as much, people really took it in a different way kind of character was me completely. So I thought it would be fun to make a song that was just a full almost character with the whole thing. When you listen to the song and you view the music video and if you look at it from the eyes of a character, it makes so much more sense. <laughs> I mean, for me, what's next is with all my content kind of moving into the next year, I really want to be putting myself and my true personality and being able for people to really get to know me after all of this and feel like they know me instead of just a character or how they perceive me to be online. 
and I'm excited to keep doing everything that I love moving into the new year. I, I still remember this one time, it was one of the first few days that I was in LA last year and I went to Saddle Ranch restaurant and it was like first few minutes that I walked in and a girl turned around and she looked at me and she goes, oh, I follow you on TikTok. This was actually one of the first times that I had had a full meal since my eating disorder recovery. You helped me, like it's my birthday and you helped me to really love my body and feel confident in who I am. And it was like an instant thing. It was one of the most beautiful things and I will never ever forget that moment. I mean, maybe, I'm just kind of going with the flow because there's so much that I want to do and so much that I'm passionate about and it's just really kind of narrowing down and figuring out what's next for right now, taking it step by step. 2020 for me, because I hadn't quite moved to the US at that point, it was, it was fun for me to get to be able to be in quarantine creating content because just before I was starting to create content but I was still in school. So I was kind of, as my videos were starting to just get a little bit of traction pre-quarantine, I was also kind of getting all those people in school starting to make fun of me and make comments and do all that stuff, which made it really discouraging. So actually being able to go into quarantine was a bit of a blessing for me. <laughs> The only way that I've honestly been able to find true real happiness is just being happy with who I am and knowing that I'm happy with who I am no matter what other people are saying. Um, on Instagram, I am Brooklyn XO, and then on TikTok, I am XO Brooklyn, and you, anywhere else you should be able to find me at Brooklyn Web. I think, I think I'm done with the music career for now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I think that there is so many amazingly talented people out there that aren't just doing it for fun, that are truly, truly talented. And I hope that people who maybe jumped on me for being negative go and think, oh, talented people, why don't I just take my energy from being kind of negative over here? And instead of commenting, let's just move and figure out how appreciative I am of all these other positive, amazing people that are amazing instead of because they, I wouldn't have had any of my music stuff blow up if people weren't hating and being negative. Hi, my name is Brooklyn Webb and you've just been buzzed.